stupid idiot. That's what you are. A stupid, quintessential, pure, pure idiot. Your country is in shambles. Nigeria is standing on the precipice of utter collapse. But here you are focusing on us as a people. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> Watch the entire video, my lovely viewers. I mean, from start to finish to get the whole thing without wasting much of your time. Let's get right into it. Savage. Hi, lovely viewers. It's me again, your one and only Mtati Pundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Let's talk about this false Nigerian prophet, this con man, this despot, this bottom feeder, this moocher, this product of a deranged mind, this young man that has totally lost senses of his capabilities, this young man that has flights of fancy and delusions of grandeur. This young Nigerian that thinks that he's got power when really there is no power. The only power he possesses is the power that exists between his ears in his head. Andrew Ejimadu has never had power. He will never have power because, because everything that he says, is a product of a deranged mind. He just creates his own power. He's even convinced some of you, Kuti, there is a, 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 a Jagaban Godfather. Godfather doesn't even exist. It's just somebody he mentions. He has created an apparition in the minds of his followers because many of you are so brainwashed. You're so diluted. You are so bereft of logic that you don't know you're left from your right you don't know what's up you don't know what's down you have no idea where you are why because you have allowed yourself to be brainwashed by this vagabond this despot this jackal this snake called andrew ejimadu seer zero i might add some of you fear him. What the hell are you fearing for? Tell me. Tell me in the comments. What are you scared of? There's nothing to fear. He's just a Nigerian false prophet that can't even handle his own country's affairs. And so he focuses on us. Because you have given him a foothold into your consciousness. Don't do that. Do not do that. So here it is. Let's break it down. My, uh, 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 who's this? Uh, Ejimadu, Sir Zero. The other day he was on Facebook. And this is what I find comical about this whole issue. He can talk about me, but the moment I try to retort, some of you brainwashed followers. You've got this idea that, no, don't talk about him. Well, why wouldn't I talk about him? He's talked about me. Why wouldn't I talk about him? No, just leave him. You know, some of your, your logic is just, uh, it behooves me. It really does. It behooves me. It, 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 it makes me wonder your, 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 your thinking capacity. When you say, no, just leave him. Guys, the one who speaks is the one who the public listens to. Ooh, I should have written that and, and posted that up there. 
but I'll just drop that in my spirit. The one who speaks is the one the public listens to. So when you say things like, no, don't talk, don't respond. Well, guess what? The only voice that people are going to hear is that voice that is speaking. This is the reason it is important. Nay, nay, it is imperative that when people like con these con men, these despots, these, these jackals, these false prophets like Andrew Ejimadu, when they speak, you speak against them. When they, when they announce falsities and, and they try to mislead the public, you stand up and you say, that's false. You are of your father, the devil. There's nothing in you that is true and there is no truth within you. But if you allow him to speak and you, as the brain wants to follow, no, don't talk, leave him. The Apaweni, Andre Jimadu, some time ago, he falsely claimed Kuti, he put something in the stomach of Sunday Sinyangwe's wife. Complete lies. What power, what ability, what dexterity does Andrew Ejima do? See a zero false prophet. What power does he have to put anything in anyone's stomach? But you do ones for us. Yeah, but Sunday Sinyangwa ba kashivari ba bika something mumala. Ne mumwa umfuira. Mwefi puru mwe you idiots. Again, this same false prophet, Andrew Jimadu, kuti the reason Chishimba Kambuiri walks in the manner in which he walks is because I touched him. And the Bakambuidi, Bakwenda, Balatambalala, Bakwenda. Naimwe, as Mueva, Duanzi followers, Mwamfuila, Kuti, Mwari Umfa, Chisi, Azero, Charisa, and that Bakambuidi, Venda, if you pant, Adi Mukumiamo. Nonsense! Pure, unadulterated, quintessential nonsense. In America, they call that bull roar. Stupid idiots. Stupid idiots. <laughs> so here it is. Andrew was saying a whole lot of stuff. As you know, recently I've been going on these trips uh, along. I've been tagging along with the president uh, to cover his trips. And... I must tell you that the president and his team recognizes the power of social media. Remember back in the PF when there was this idea that the popularity of UPND was only on Facebook. You remember that? Remember when there was no about Facebook? Facebook. Remember that? Remember how? And I remember this one woman. She was a PF woman. I forget her name now. Please remind me in the comments. She actually bet. She said, this was on camera. She said, I will give you 5,000 kwacha if the UPND win, because according to her, uh, UPND was only famous and popular on Facebook. Remember this? Remember? Tell me in the comments if you remember that. Tell me that. Tell me. Please tell me if you remember that. And also tell me who that lady was, if you remember who she was. I forget who she was, but but you remember there was that, uh, the, the lady that said, no, Facebook, Chavi, Facebook is nothing. You photo up a ground. Remember that? Percy Chama says, I remember. Yes. You remember? Yes. And they were calling him at the social media president. Remember? Remember? Yeah. Well, this administration recognizes uh, the power of social media. And so um, in their wisdom, they have decided to ask members of the media fraternity, not just SML TV, Diamond TV goes, Crown TV goes, Prime TV. They tag along with the president to, to sort of showcase 
what the president is doing in all these different parts of the country. Jesus said, Jesus said, don't light a candle, then put it under a bushel, but instead put it on a, put the candle on a candlestick so that everyone can see it. Let me read that again. Don't light a candle, then put it underneath a bushel, but instead put it on a candlestick so that everyone can see it. How else do you expect the public to see what this administration is doing but for different media houses? Now, let's be clear. SML TV is just a tiny little piece of the puzzle because I know some of you are going to start, no, you ain't going to you anyway, it's new television. We're just, a, we, are, we are but a speck we are but a tiny piece of the puzzle. We are it's a tiny piece of the jigsaw puzzle. We, we do not make up the sum total of the whole. What we do is we add a piece to the puzzle. SML TV adds a piece. Prime TV adds a piece. Diamond TV adds a piece. ZNBC adds a piece. Because as you know, the direction we're heading to now, very few people watch traditional conventional television now. Do you know this? Times have changed. People, this is the, one of the reasons why DSTV is in trouble, is because people are leaning towards online streaming. That's where the attention is. You go where the attention is. The only valuable currency that exists now is attention. And whoever commands attention has a foothold. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Tell me in the comments if what I'm telling you is resonating. Tell me if what I'm saying to you is making any sense. Tell me if what I'm saying to you is, 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 is rubbing you the right way. Tell me in the comments if what I'm saying to you is gelling. Because as you know, if it's not gelling, then it's not gel out. Go ahead, break it down for me. Go ahead, tell me in the comments. I'm waiting for you to tell me if, if what I'm saying is making sense. Vinny says it's more than sense. Thank you, Vinny. So whenever Andrew Ejimadu accuses media, different media houses, Kuti, why are they going alone? Why not? Why not? Because that's where the attention is. SML TV has an audience. Prime TV has an audience. Crown TV has an audience. Mwebantu has an audience. Hagainde Ichilima's page has an audience. When you put all those audiences together, the message you're trying to disseminate, the information that you're trying to get out to the public, gets there. Why? Because all these media houses are tagging along. They do it in developed countries all the time. They do it in America. They don't just depend on ABC, CBS, and CNN. They, now they're using influencers. They're using different platforms. To do what? To get the message across. Not to entertain, to get the message across. Recently, the president commissioned phase two of the coal mine over there in uh, Mamba. A $300 million deal that's going to pump in more than, what is it, 300 megawatts of power into the national grid. How else are you going to know that? You can't just depend on ZNBC. You can't just depend on Hagainde Hichilima's page. You have to, Jesus said it this way. Jesus said, compel them to come in. Oh, that's good. Oh, man, don't, listen, man, don't get me started now. Compel them to come in. Call them all in. Get the message out. I remember when we were in Mamba, the, the, the media pool, because you know, I was there with my friends, you know, and I, oh, I know them. Some of them know me. And again, I have to emphasize, because, you know, by social media, you start saying, no, you think you are important. We're not important. Nobody's important. 
okay? All we do is just we add something to, we bring something to the table in our own way. I remember in Mamba, uh, as we as the media pool was leaving the press conference, the 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 not press conference, the meeting that the president had with the CEO and the managing directors of the coal plant there in Mamba. As we were leaving, he cautioned us, the media. He said, "You media, get the word out there. Don't just concentrate on the foolish stories and the falsities." And the, the breakups of people. Eh? Don't just concentrate on the Akachola. Get the message across to the people. The people have to know what we are doing here for the betterment of this country. Get the message across. Don't concentrate on falsities and useless stories of people breaking up and the Akacholas. <laughs> so do you see the logic? So here it is, Andrew Ejimadu, he says, uh, Kuti Mwewa is going to pay. Here it is, I, I, I'll put it up here. Mwewa is going to pay. Now, here's my response to that. I'm a Zambian. Andrew Ejimadu is not a Zambian. The false love that Andrew has for Zambia cannot exceed the authentic love that I have for this country. Woo! Oh, that's good. God just dropped that in my heart. Let me say that again because I think that's important. The false love that Andrew Ejimadu has for this Zambia cannot exceed the authentic love that is deep within my heart as a Zambian and as a son of this soil, we were born on this territory. Andrew, stupid idiots, you cannot exceed the love, the passion that I have, that we as a people have for this nation. You as a Nigerian con man, you cannot exceed it. You can't. Try, try as you may, you will fail miserably at every turn. Why? Because you are not a son of this soil. Your, your origin is of your country. In the same way, by the same token, my love for Nigeria can never exceed your love for Nigeria. So how the hell are you going to show up here talking about how, no, you're going to pay? Who's going to pay? We're taxpayers. You're not even a taxpayer of this country. I pay taxes. I pay land rates. If I were to show you the amount of money we pay in land rates just here at Simoson, it would blow your mind. But there's Andre Jimadu talking. No, you're going to pay. We're, we're, we're taxpayers, Andrew. We are taxpayers. You're not. We, we pay tax. You don't. And Andrew, let me say it again, because, you know, the, other, the, the day he, uh, he did his little foolish broadcast, he even has the audacity of saying, when we was live, nobody watches him. Well, you were watching me. Weren't you, Andrew? Weren't you watching me? You were. So how dare you say nobody? Well, you were. Even if nobody was watching, the one thing I know, you were watching. So you stick that in your pipe, Andrew, a Jimadu false prophet con man, and smoke it. Let me say it again. Andrew has no power. He has no power to do anything. Andrew doesn't even have any power to deviate the path of an ant. Andrew has no power to convince a, an ant to deviate from its path, much less a whole nation. The only power that Andrew has is the imaginary, fictitious power that exists between that empty space in his head. Stupid idiot. That's what you are. A stupid quintessential, pure, pure idiot. 
Your country is in shambles. Nigeria is standing on the precipice of utter collapse. But here you are focusing on us as a people. <laughs> Nonsense. Nonsense. <laughs> All righty. All righty. That's what I wanted to say to you. Thank you so much for listening, guys. God bless. Have a good one. Bye. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondo. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.